السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, this is Professor Sheikh Abdul Majid Abdul Razak Alaro. We are here to ask some question as regards to the incident that happened at Omar yesterday, as regards to the Janiza funeral period that was supposed to happen for our mother Al Aja Asia. Uh, so we had to ask some question as regards to the funeral that was not so, that did not commence and what is the position of Islam as regards to the incident. Uh, Ashik, please want to hear your response. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. First and foremost, our condolences to the good people of Umaran. Um, uh, starting from the uh, His Royal Majesty, the Oluma of Omar, and the entire people of Omar, uh, and particularly the immediate family of the deceased. We send our condolences to them, uh, and we pray that Almighty Allah uh, will forgive the deceased, the departed soul, and grant her a Jannah of her dogs. Um, the unfortunate incident of yesterday, as you mentioned, uh, and the position of Islam uh, in that regard, well, as is already in the news, is in the public domain that the woman in question died as a Muslim. Although two of our biological children uh, have been converted to Christianity uh, by, according to the information at our disposal, by a powerful clergyman of the same family. But that notwithstanding, that does not change the rule of Islam as it relates to a deceased who practiced Islam until the last moment of her life. Um, there were testimonies that the woman up till the last minute on the heart was a Muslim and she died as a Muslim. Uh, there was even a, a testimony to the effect that she pronounced what you call Kalima to Shahada, bearing witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah, La ilaha illallah, even at the point of death. So with that one, uh, she deserves certain procedures to be followed in bearing her as a Muslim. One, first and foremost, she must be given a ritual bath as a Muslim. This is mandatory in Islam. Okay. She must be bathed, given a befitting spiritual ritual bath as a dead woman who left this world as a Muslim. Okay. Secondly, she must be shrouded okay. in a white garment, preferably. That is the rule in Islam. After bathing her, we must provide for her a shroud to cover her. Okay. Then thirdly, we observe the Salat al On her. That is the prayer that we observe on the corpse of the deceased uh, who happened to be a Muslim is also a mandatory step that must be taken in our regard and in fact with respect to every Muslim that leaves this world as a believer in Almighty Allah and finally she must be buried in the Islamic way. How do we bury our dead ones in Islamic way? We all know this. Uh, we bury them in a, uh, we should we should have been, she should have been buried in a grave. Okay. In the midst of other believers, people of our faith, Muslims, in mm -hmm. a Muslim cemetery, that is the rule, okay. with neither a casket or coffin. So mm -hmm. these are the procedures that must be followed uh, in relation to uh, the way we should treat anybody that dies as a Muslim. And this woman. Uh, from what is available in the even in the public domain uh, that the woman actually died as a Muslim. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's also in the news uh, 
those who've all had it, we've all been informed about that, that uh, the woman was denied of all these rights, of all these privileges. And it is quite worrisome that such a thing is happening in this century. Uh, we talk about the position of Islam, even the position of law, the law of the land. Uh, according to Section 38 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which guarantees freedom of thought, conscience, conscience and religion, uh, nobody should be deprived of what he or she deserves, even at death. This is what the woman has chosen for herself. And it is quite unfortunate that at the point of death, she's been denied all these rights. Uh, well, I was at the incident yesterday and I witnessed how it all happened. And just like you have rightly said that the position of Islam, what you, what you have just mentioned, that what is the next thing learned for her, that all this right has been denied. Uh, you have said that, uh, then what is the next stage? What is the next thing to do now? Um, well, in answering that question, I will have to give my answer uh, in two legs. The first one will have to will, uh, will, will, will relate to what next as for the leadership of the Muslim community yeah. in Omaran and even beyond Omaran. Then I would also like to address what next as far as we, the followers, the followership, as, as far as we are also concerned. What next if a Muslim uh, has been treated the way the woman was unfortunately treated by being denied a legitimate right, guaranteed even by the law of the land? Um, I would like to uh, first of all talk to our leaders, uh, starting again from our father, the Royal Majesty, the Lord of Omar, uh, who I know to be a good Muslim, Al Haj Abdul Rahim Al Deuchi. His father, uh, for all Omaran sons and daughters, wherever they may be, uh, I will strongly advise our royal father to intervene uh, by calling whoever is holding on to the corpse of this woman to fear God and obey the law of the land. That is as far as. Uh, the leadership is concerned. And uh, beyond the Olomo of Omo, His Royal Majesty, whoever uh, is also a stakeholder in this regard, especially Muslims among them, they should know that they have a duty, they have a role to play. The woman has died and she will be accounting for whatever she has done while alive. We are also going to be held accountable for how we treat her or how we allow the woman, the corpse of the woman to be treated after her demise. We are also going to be held accountable, all of us, every stakeholder. So this is my advice for our leaders and the Almighty Allah continue uh, uh, to support them in running the affairs of the city of Umar and, and the entire uh, and whole cities uh, uh, all over the world and even the country at large. Thank you. Um, no, I said I was going to answer it in two legs. Okay. We have to talk about, uh, okay, before even going to the followers, uh, I was informed authoritatively that even the Inspector General of Police has intervened. This is quite commendable. Uh, the Police Commissioner in Kwara State, I understand, has even organized a meeting between the Muslim leadership the, imam, the chief imam of Omaran and the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Omaran branch. Uh, that's a, a very good step that has been taken. Uh, but we all know that as uh, a law enforcement agency, okay. the duty of police goes beyond persuasion. Yes, yeah. it's good to persuade people to be law abiding, but if they refuse to be law abiding, I think the police should be allowed to do its job as a law enforcement agency. So that is about uh, our, what concerns the leaders, uh, whether of the Muslim community or even the leaders generally in the, in the nation. Now talking to myself 
you and other fellow Muslims. We okay. also have a duty to mm. make sure that this woman gets what she deserves. Mm. She must be treated honorably mm. as a Muslim, even at death. Now we are helpless. The corpse was not brought mm. to where the Muslims assembled yesterday, yeah. as you said. Yes. So it, will that be the end of it? No, even mm. for us as followers. Okay. What is the duty? The duty is now according to the Sharia of Islam. Okay. That there are certain things that we can do for the woman in abstention. And okay. we must do that. Okay. At least to exonerate our own selves from any blame. Because okay. we shall be held accountable for whatever we do in relation to the woman. Okay. She gets what she deserves. Mm. She must be treated honorably mm. as a Muslim, even mm. at death. Now we are helpless. The corpse was not brought to mm. where the Muslims assembled yesterday, yeah. as you said. Yes. So it, will that be the end of it? No, even mm. for us as followers. Okay. What is the duty? The duty is now according to the Sharia of Islam. Okay. That there are certain things that we can do for the woman in abstention. And okay. we must do that. Okay. At least to exonerate our own selves from any blame. Because okay. we shall be held accountable for whatever we do in relation to the woman. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm advising Muslims all over the world, not only in Oman, Quora okay. State, or even Nigeria, even okay. beyond Nigeria. Okay. Uh, because interestingly, this woman uh, was great in life and was great at death. Alhamdulillah. She has brought a uh, town, Omara, to limelight. Yes. Omara is already in the news all yeah. over the world. Yeah. So, and we hope it will continue to be in the news for the good reason, not for the wrong reason. I mean, I mean. Um, so, what I was saying is that yes. we can do certain things in absentia. Okay. Uh, there's what we call Salatul Ghari. No. We can offer salah to Janaza. Ordinarily, we should be present. She, our cop, should be present before us yes. to observe that salah. But alternatively, there is an arrangement in Islam for that salah, that prayer, to be observed in abst absentia. Yes, I understand that this was done. In yes, Umarra we did. We did. We did that yesterday. Waited, waited, waited. Yes, and they couldn't get the cops to observe salah on it. They did Salat al guy, but I'm yes. not saying uh, it does not stop there. Uh, it does not mean that only those who are present at Omara yesterday, uh, they are the ones that should pay that last respect okay. for the woman. It can be done elsewhere. It way. can be done elsewhere. Oh, and I'm strongly advising, please, really please great. honor this woman. She was a great woman. Allah Akbar. Very great woman indeed. That's the beauty of Islam. Maybe this is part of what Allah has chosen to reward her for being steadfast, but for being firm in faith. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Despite all intimidations, distractions, and attractions from the other side. Alhamdulillah. So a great woman indeed and deserves to be honored and given the last respect that she Alhamdulillah. deserves. Alhamdulillah. Um, so we can do that here in Elorin. Okay in Kwara State, okay. all over Nigeria, okay. even beyond the shores of this country, Allah beyond Akbar. Nigeria. Allah Muslims Akbar. all over the world can also observe uh, uh, this Salat so and abstention, Janaza and abstention okay. uh, for this great woman. Uh, okay. In an authentic hadith documented by the two great Imams of hadith, Imam al-Bukhari and al Imam Muslim. The Prophet Sallallahu did a similar thing Allah when al Najashi, the Nevos, who was the head, who was the king of Abyssinia, today Ethiopia. He died as a Muslim, but in the midst of people who did not perform Salat on him, or who even did not know how to perform it. And the Prophet, back in Medina, Allah uh, 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 hundreds of kilometers or thousands of kilometers away, ordered that this Salat should be performed on their brother, Nejashi. So we are also appealing to our brothers and sisters all over the world, please, this is a great woman, and let us give her a due respect. Uh, may Allah forgive her once Amen. again and commit her to Al-Jannah. Um, so, uh, but it does not mean we have to make it clear enough that if Salat al is performed on her, what about the other rights and privileges 
that belong to her legitimately as a true citizen of this country. We want people to still work hard on that, persuading, but if persuasion should fail, like I mentioned uh, a short while ago, the law enforcement agencies should come to play the necessary role uh, to make sure that every citizen is a law-abiding one in this country. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, that has been uh, Professor. Uh, and let us pray for the woman. Uh, okay. It's an opportunity. I mean, I'm a great woman okay. indeed. Okay. Uh, Allah has chosen to reward her. She could have died quietly without anybody knowing mm. of her. Allah but Allah. if you look at how Allah. that rewards Allah. whoever is uh, truly uh, 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 a, a servant of ease. Of, no. if, uh, if she had not been moved out of Omara, Hmm. If she had not died outside the man, if her Christian children had not, taken had her not refused <laughs> to release her corpse, yeah. perhaps you and I, we might not have heard of her. Yes. She, would die, she would die as an ordinary woman, yeah. but Allah decided to make her great, and she was really a great woman. Alhamdulillah. So, Allahumma furli abdi ammatika, asiyata, oyedepo. اللهم اغفر لها وارحمها رحمة واسعة اللهم أكرم نزلها ووسع مدخلها واقصلها بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقها من الضروب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم جازيا بالحسنات إحسانا وبالسيئات عفوا وغفرانا اللهم ثبتها بالقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا والآخرة أم. اللهم ثبتها بالقول الثابت في الحياة أم. الدنيا وفي الآخرة اللهم ثبتها أم. بالقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا والآخرة أم. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله uh, we thank you prof for your response on the incident of the death of uh, one of the ridiculous family uh, this is prof Abdul Razak Abdul Majid Alaru, the head of the Department uh, of Law, University of oh, Illinois, Islamic, oh, Islamic Law, University of Illinois, and also the head of Research and Translation Union of African Muslim Scholars. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. Uh, I am Abbas Ibrahim. Thank you. Thank you, Alaru Wadru, for doing this also abundantly. Um. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.